Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Saturday, September the 6th. It's the 12th week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 30 and 32. And John chapter 10, verse 1 through 18. And please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high your sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice with all your tongues God's glory sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up. Alleluia. Psalms 30 and 32. Please recite together with me. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Most High, my God, I cried to you, and you have healed me. My God, you have brought me up from the grave. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down into the pit. Sing to the Most High, O you saints, and give thanks for God's holiness. For God's anger lasts but a moment, God's favor is for a lifetime. Sorrow may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. God, by your favor, you have made me strong as a mountain. Then you hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried to you, O God, and to you I made my prayer. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? My God, hear me and have mercy upon me. My God, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. And therefore I sing praise to your glory and I am not silent. My Most High God, I thank you forever. Alleluia, blessed are they whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed are they in whom the Most High imputes no guilt, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones withered away, through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My mouth turned dry like the summer drought. I acknowledged my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to you, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. The faithful shall pray for this in time of distress, in the time of the flood. The great waters shall not come near them. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will teach you the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not as the horse or mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, lest they come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but mercy shall surround them that trust in God. Be glad in our God and rejoice, all you righteous, and shout for joy, all you that are upright of heart. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God. 
for you have lifted me up. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them. And the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. And so again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal, to kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf come and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. And so there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. And I have received this command from my Father. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God for the Mercy of God community, and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for unity in the Church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. We pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. We pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions, 
we pray. Hear us, tender God. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive our sins and offenses. Guide us with your eye. Teach us the way we should go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.